Today, let's read the editor's preface to the Mary Kay Way book. When Mary Kay Ash first published her book in 1984, her cosmetics company had recently celebrated its 20th anniversary. <laughs> she described annual sales exceeding th 300 million and an independent sales force of more than 200,000. This edition comes at the 45th anniversary. And of course, you know, it's been 60 years now with a wholesale exceeding 2.4 billion and a worldwide independent sales force of 1.8 million. I don't know what it is now, but it's bigger. Mary Kay consistently ranks among the top US brands. We're number one in beauty um, products for direct sales in the world right now. We at Mary Kay are very proud of her legacy and excited to share it with you in this new edition of her most important book, the principles in this book are the foundation for everything we do and are responsible for the dramatic growth of the business and its worldwide reputation in the years since Mary Kay Ash founded what she called her dream company in 1963. I would have been four years old. Now you know my age. We know that Mary Kay culture is respected in business circles and that it is studied at some of the most prestigious academic institutions. Recently, we asked Mary Kay Independent National Sales Directors, the highest achieving women in the sales force, to share principles from this book that they had most that had most profound impact on their businesses and their lives. 175 of them from throughout the world eagerly responded. I would have too if they had asked me. All of these remarkable women believe this book to be an instrumental to their success. And that's why we're reading it. Today, they teach from it, make speeches centered upon it, absolutely, discuss leadership examples with their vastly diverse teams based on these principles. They also continue to be inspired by the messages. Many suggest that the Mary Kay way be mandatory reading for anyone aspiring to build and be successful in any business. All endorse it as a way to build a life. As National Sales Director Svetlana Kusakina of Ukraine said, I know for sure that in critical moments, I can find this book, in this book, answers for all of my questions. For one national sales director in the United States, it had been a few years since she'd picked up her beloved dog-eared copy of her first edition of the book. Cheryl Steinman took the occasion of responding to the survey to reread it from cover to cover. Upon completing it, she did three things. She did three things it, in her words. Number one, I cried and cried at the genius of Mary Kay. Number two, I called the leader of the sales group at the company and suggested we make this mandatory reading for everyone. Number three, I wrote a letter to Helen McMoy, McVoy, one of the first two women ever to become a national sales director, to express to her my gratitude for everything she taught me and for being the role model I wanted to emulate in my work. Many among the national sales director had the extraordinary experience of working along Mary Kay Ash's side. But whether they learned from her wisdom firsthand or through a mentor, all of them have taken Mary Kay's principles to heart. They speak convincingly about perpetuating Mary Kay's principles for future generations as the company founder introduced them.